Hi again. Uh, okay, welcome to our uh, YouTube channel. Uh, don't forget to click subscribe uh, for we are uploading videos uh, every day. And uh, don't forget also to click on the uh, bell icon so that you will be updated with our uh, recently uploaded videos. Okay, so we'll be talking here of moving load. Uh, we have a sample problem dealing with moving loads and uh, use of influence line. Of course, we know that influence line is designed for moving loads. Okay, so this problem will have two moving loads and then uh, we have to find the maximum shear, the maximum bending moment, and the maximum shear at a particular point in the beam. With that, we will be using influence line. Okay. Okay, this is the problem. Uh, a 20 meter simply supported gear deal of a bridge is crossed by a standard H loading consisting of two wheel loads of 142.4 and 35.6 kN, which are 4.3 meters apart. The questions are the maximum support reaction, okay, the maximum span moment, and the maximum shear at the mid span, at the beam mid span. Okay, by the way. Uh, if you want to solve the problem, uh, if you want to practice, you can post this video for a while and then solve it yourself and then continue watching to see the solution. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, you can do it uh, as a sort of checking up yourself. Okay, you can do it now. Okay, so let's see how to solve this uh, problem. So the first, uh, okay, there are two moving loads. The distance apart is 4.3 meters. The loads are given. Okay, the span is very long compared to the distance between the uh, wheels. So this is very uh, obvious that the loads are on the span when the maximum shear and moment will occur. Okay, there is a formula for this. For the maximum shear, actually the maximum, uh, the maximum reaction will occur when the heavier of the two loads is directly over the support. So you will put this 142.4 right over the support and the other one is inside, 4.3 meters. So that will be 15.7 uh, meters no, from the other end. Then solve the reaction where the heavy load is, then you will get the maximum reaction. And the formula for that is PL minus PSD over L. And also because this is a simply supported beam, this will also be the, there is no overhang here, this is also now the maximum shear. All right, your P is the total load, P1 plus P2, the smaller and the heavier load, okay? And then your PS is the smaller of the two, in this case, the 35.6 kilonewtons, and of course, the D here is the distance between the loads, which is 4.3 meters. Okay, so if you know the formula, then you can do it direct substitution. Okay, so the answer is 170.3. Again, uh, if you had a hard time memorizing that, you can easily put this heavier load over the support. The other one is inside. Then solve the reaction on that support. That's already the maximum shear. Okay, next, the maximum moment. I know many of you are familiar with this formula. Okay, the maximum moment for two moving loads with two loads within the span is equal to this. Very, very similar format. PL minus PSD quantity raised to two divided by four PL. Very, very similar. Okay, the same definitions, our P is the total load, our PS is the smaller load, D is the 4.3, and of course L is 20 meters. So substitute the values, then you will have uh, 815.1 kilonewton meter. I hope you got it right. So this is what we'll be doing whenever I have a problem with uh, choices. Uh, it's up to you, no? you can pause the video for a while and then uh, continue watching it to see the solution. Okay, especially for those who are reviewing for the board exam. So this is very uh, uh, 
nice or a very good way to practice. Okay, the third part. Calculate the maximum shear at the mid-span. Calculate the maximum shear. Okay. Now, uh, we do not have a formula for that. If we will have, then it will be very specific. Okay? So this one is not at the mid-span, the maximum moment. This one is also, the maximum shear is not at the mid-span. It is on the support. Okay? Now, to solve the letter C, so with, whenever, if you're if the problem involves moving load and you are given or you are going to compute the shear or the moment at a particular length or span of the beam, you use influence line. You will use influence line for this part. Okay, this is how it works. So we have to compute the shear at the middle, at the mid span. Okay, this is our length, 20 meters. Okay. This will be, of course, uh, 10 meters. Now, this will be your A, and that will be your B. 10 meters is 10 and 10. Okay? Uh, the influence line. So, we will draw the influence line for the shear at the mid span. So, there is a formula for that. The influence lines, by the way, influence lines for simple beams consist of straight lines. So, the influence line is like this. First, for the first part, you will go down negative A over L. So that will be negative 0.5. And then after that, you go up by one unit. So, or you go up by a factor or the, the value is B over L. So 0.5, it's also equal to 0.5. Or you can easily say go up by one meter, or by one unit, sorry. And then you go down to zero here. You go down to zero. So this is the influence line for the reaction, or oh no, for the shear at the mid span. Okay? Our moving or our loads is moving across the bridge. Of course, this is continuous. No? So I'm just uh, restricting the motion within that span. Okay? So the goal here to get the magnitude of the function, in this case, the shear, you multiply the load by the uh, offset. No? by the offset of your influence line, okay? This one, the ordinate, the ordinates, okay? So this is 0.5. Of course, obviously, the biggest value of the function is when this load, the bigger load, is on the bigger offset or the bigger uh, ordinate. So obviously, that will be the heavier load is right here and the other load will be here, okay? So 142.4 have an ordinate, the ordinate in inverse line where it uh, is acting is 0.5. And the other one will be here. So we will solve this ordinate here. Okay, so this is 4.3 meters and this is uh, 10 minus 4.3, 5.7 meters. All right, so we need this ordinate. So this is U1, which is of course 0.5. Okay, and then the ordinate of this, this can be solved, let's call this U2, this can be solved by proportion, similar triangles, okay? U2 is to 5.7 as U1 is to 10. This is it. So you can solve for U2. So finally, the maximum shear at the mid-span is 142.4 times U1 plus 35.6 times U2. Okay. So that's it. Then that will give you the biggest, the greatest shear that can occur at the mid span, drawing the influence line. So take note, the influence line always starts zero at support, and then it will go negative uh, A over L. If, if this segment, for example, if A is only four meters, then that will be four over 10. So that will make B equals uh, 16 meters. No? So negative four over 10, and then go up, uh, that will be 16 over us, or A over 20, sorry. I'm, I was talking 10. Sorry, sorry, I got a mistake. Okay, so over L, L is 20. So, for example, again, I will uh, explain. If A is only, uh, let's say, 6 meters, so you will go down negative 6 over 20, and then you will go up, uh, what is that, 14 over 20, and then go back to zero at the other support. Okay, so I hope uh, this video can help you. And I hope if you tried answering the question, you got the correct answer. If not, then you can uh, review on how to solve 
that question. So thank you so much for uh, watching this uh, video. I hope you learned something. And don't forget to subscribe in our channel. Uh, we will be uploading videos every day. Okay? So thank you so much. And don't forget to uh, click on the bell icon.